Well, greetings. This is Trev from OnlinePClearning.com. We're going to talk about making fantastic looking posters, amazing posters in Microsoft PowerPoint. You can do so many things. I'll just show you some of the posters. Here's a poster we've made. And with just the click of a button, this was just made with all the elements within PowerPoint. I haven't even imported any pictures into here. I've just used the clip art. It's so, so easy and I'll show you how. Once you've made the poster, you can just change it to a new style if you wish, just with a click of a button. You can see how easy it is to make variations of the same poster. Here's a few that I've done to help you to see how easy it is to just flip them around to change the styles to suit what you might want. Well, how do you do this? I'm going to show you the steps now and then you can decide if you want to continue with the tutorial. I don't want to hold you up if you're not interested, but I'll show you the basic steps to do this and then we'll go through it bit at a time. So you can make these yourself if you want, or you can go to the website and download this file and play around with it. I'd suggest you just watch the tutorial for a few minutes and get the hang of a few of the techniques because I'm really passing on here some tips and tricks from the trade. Well, here's the basic process. First of all, we install a background. Now, where do you get a background like this? Look, here's a bit of a tip. I'm going to tell you, this is actually just a piece of a sunrise from a piece of clip art in Microsoft Office. The next thing we do is we insert some lines and some shapes that we blur. After that, we're going to put in the image that we remove the background of and slightly color, use a bit of an artistic effect that's available through the Microsoft Office suite. And then finally, the last thing we do is add our text. That's the steps involved. Four steps to making fantastic posters. And look, I'm going to show you how. If you've got, it's only going to take a couple of minutes. I'm going to show you all the settings for those things that I just showed you for each of those slides. Well, here we go. This is the tutorial. Here is the slide. First one, we're going to add the background shape. So what is this shape? Well, first of all, let's do something that is very, very necessary when you're doing a poster in Microsoft PowerPoint. Microsoft PowerPoint is set up by default to do slides. We want to set it so the size will be the same size as our default paper. And in this instance, I'm setting it to A4. I'll show you how to do that. Go to the Design tab and click on Page Setup. On Page Setup, go to Custom or if you want, choose A4. But regardless, you need to put in here a width of 21 and a height of 29.7, and you need to click Portrait. So don't forget to do that at first, because if you don't do this at first, and then you go and do all your work, and then you change this aspect ratio of your slide, everything's going to distort, and you'll be one very unhappy person. The next thing we need to do I'm going to take this background off and show you how to get this background. And you can choose from any number of them. Well, go to Insert, then choose Clip Art. Over here in the search for, I'd like you to type in Sunset. Now you could get a picture from the web or forever, or a picture you have yourself, as long as you can use that picture legally for what the purpose is that you're using it for. So we type in Sunset and we'll click Go. Now let's have a look at what Microsoft gives us here. There's a whole range. What are we in fact looking for? Well, we're looking for a part of a sunset picture that we can blow up and make it look really awesome as a background to our slide. Now I'm clipping through all these. This one here would be nice, but we're not going to use that. The one we're going to use, this one here would be good as well. That looks excellent, parts of that. See if I can find the one we get right. Must be the very last one. Here it is here. I'll just clip on it, we'll put it on our page. Now what I was looking at, what attracted me in this picture was that little bit in the middle there, just that section between the two pillars. So let's drag that out. First thing to do, we'll get our picture and increase it in size. Don't worry too much about the aspect ratio of it. Just make the thing bigger and then go in with your crop tool. So when you select your picture, you'll notice the picture tools tab appears. On the picture tool tab, go to crop. And when you click crop, it puts these little lines around your picture. Just pull it in until you crop out this section right in the middle here. We just want this bit here. All we want is this. Something like that, and then across to here. 
that's all we want. Now once you've set that, I'll just show the ribbon to stay down. When you've set that, just click, actually with me, might just pull it down a fraction more at the top, just click crop. Now what you do with this shape is pull it back right up, right over the top to suit your background. That's how you do it. It's that simple. That's where you're going to, and you can see the similarities between that and the other. The next thing that you're going to do is go to artistic effects and choose the artistic effect that you want for the background. Now look at them all changing, getting some fantastic background effects here. Which one do you want? Well, I think that's the one that I chose. That's how simple it is to get an awesome background for a poster. And look, while we're here and it's selected, let's pop a border on it too. Now when you put a border, you know borders always increase the size. So you'll notice up here in our size box, it's gone to 29.8. Let's take it back to 29.7 and we'll take this back to 21. So that that uh, border is now going to fit onto our page. All right, so that's how our background is set. The next thing we're going to do is add some effects to the front of that. Now what are these that I put in here? Well, all they are, if we go to the insert tab and then go to shapes, all that is is a circle that I've drawn on the page. When you put the circle in and you click the circle, it's then highlighted with the format tab and I've just used shape effects on bigger circles. Well, it'd be handy if I looked in shape effects and not text effects. So we're going to shape effects and what I used here was the soft edges. Now, for you notice when I click on this with no soft edge, you just see the round shape there, one point. With this, I put the whole 50 points in. But now just have a look at the smaller ones. You can't put the whole 50 points in. We'll go to shape effect and here the soft edges this time will be at 25 points. So put some shapes over the page to just make it a bit of a highlight, let it shine through and break up the background. I've then put some lines on. These are just straight lines, again from the shape insert shape and then here's your line here just draw a straight line when you've drawn the line go to the format tab which will appear when the shapes come up and choose the style you want now for this particular one I've chosen this style here I think it is yeah and then I've also so I've given it a style right click what I've done well, I don't need to right click the shape effects also I've chosen here I think I've put a shadow on this yes I've put a shadow on it as well that's all it is so it's just lines with a shadow on them. Very simple. So there's the second stage, the effects to our background done. Right, here's the next stage. It's to import our picture, our graphic. How do we do that? Well, let's go to the blank canvas down here again. And into here, I think I typed in dance. We'll just do a search in clip art for dance. And I used the first picture here that come up. There it is, that's the picture I used. Then what we did, when you click on that picture, again, the picture tools toolbar appears. We'll click on format, and we clicked on remove background. Now it's already removed a lot of the background for us. I didn't want his face in, so I took that out, and I made sure that that white circle was behind his face. So all you do to remove and add the background, to mark areas to keep, you click up over here, and then you would just draw over the it marks the areas to keep, and then mark areas to remove, uh, clicking here, areas to remove, and so on. So it's quite simple. I won't waste all your time in going through that, but you just keep removing the background until you have it the way you want. You don't need to use the whole picture, you know. Some great effects are only just accomplished by only um, removing a part of the background. So here's the image with the background removed and I've imported it into the picture. Now when you import images into your picture, I'm going to show you a little tip here. Always make sure you go to Format, Align, and align them in the center. You always want to make sure that they're nice and central, if that's where you want them. Now I've used picture effects here with this two effects. First of all, I used an artistic effect. That's the effect I used there artistically, which took the color out and made it a sort of a, a ready color. That's, that was done from over here in the color. And then the artistic effect was to give it a grainy look as well. So you can play around with that, whatever you want. Use whatever suits your theme. Now the last thing we need to do is to add our text. So we need to position the word art. And that's all this is. You can choose whatever word art you want. I've just chosen here, 
to go to insert and then I chose word art I just picked a piece of word art it didn't matter to me which to start with because I'm going to change the text style and that later anyway I think I might have chosen this one over here which is blue accent one plastic bevel reflection I think that's the one that we chose and then type in whatever text you want now down here for our main text in this piece of word art we just changed went to the home tab and changed the the um, text font to Bradley Hand ITC. Down the bottom here, I put in three lines of text into the word art, and then we went to a very interesting effect, which is over here in the text effects. We used the transform. I think the one that I used for this was this one here. Yes, it is, that one there, that's the one. So, and when you put them in, I want to show you something. You've got this little diamond here this diamond is going to allow you to adjust the text to where you want when you're working with circles and that will pull the text out or push it in and do whatever you want it to do and look that's basically it now here's the interesting part when you have this set up what do you do well i'm going to go through and just show you what we've done to make variations of the same slide in this first variation all i've done was highlighted the outside frame the background and on the format pictures I've just simply put in a border into that here it is it's this one here that's the one that we used you see it that's flipping it around so you can then choose the one you want and all you need to do is just flip it around maybe adjust the size a little bit and even maybe the color of your font so it's very easy to do this one here we did exactly the same thing I changed the background to a circle then when I changed it to a circle with that highlighted, with the background highlighted, I went over and I changed the color of the background in here. Very easy to do. So first of all, we changed the shape of the background, then the color of the background. Again, simply did that with the third one here. We put a background into the slide and then changed the shape. And then in that instance, we didn't change the color. Here's another one, we changed the background and we didn't change the shape. Here we changed the shape and the background. So it's very easy to do. You can get great effects in just seconds. Really takes no time at all to be able to create fantastic looking posters. Look, there's the tips and tricks. You can download the, download the file from my website, onlinepclearning.com. Thank you so much for listening. It, flick me a line if you have any problems with this. If you've got any suggestions, let me know. I'll pass them on to others. This is Trev from OnlinePCLearning.com. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. It's been really exciting doing this and bringing it to you. Thanks again for listening.